Hi everyone, it's Ileana and welcome back. I wanted to share with you how I made this card. I'm using a stamp set from Stamping Up called Wonderland. And because it's a foam mounted stamp, I am removing my foam insert. I've tucked my piece of cardstock in the upper left hand corner of the Misty because the stamp is hanging off the edge. I'm just going to go ahead and ink that up with some Noble Fur ink from Lanfan. And I wanted to create a little bit of dimension uh, so that the trees wouldn't look so flat. And so I'm just stamping, I'm just inking sections of the tree with the same ink. And when you double stamp, it intensifies the ink in that section. And so it'll make it look a little bit more of a shadow. I'm just going to clean off my stamp and I'm using my color box stamp cleaner for this and then I'm wiping off the residue with my stamp chamois. Now I'm just going to stamp again using first mark because I want to add some um, embossing powder. I tried making this card um, once before and I wanted to do all my embossing at the end and what I learned was that the verse mark dries but on the first set of trees by the time I get to the end. And so I had to emboss each cluster of trees as I went, uh, simply because the verse mark wasn't staying wet long enough. And I just used some clear embossing powder. Uh, I want to do some ink blending and that way um, it won't mess with the colors of my tree. Now I'm just going to stagger my stamp set just so that it doesn't look so uniform across. And once again, I'm using my Lawn Fawn Noble Fur ink. You'll notice that little tree on the far left is just a tad crooked. It's just leaning a little to the left and it was driving me nuts, but I had to remember that trees are not all straight in nature. And so I had, to, <laughs> I had to accept it. It's something that I couldn't change. Now for the last cluster of trees, uh, because I don't have enough room to stamp on that side of the Misty, I'm just going to flip it around and I'm going to stamp opposite of how I normally do it. I like to make sure that my cardstock is tucked into the corner. And so by, by altering the, the direction of my Misty, I'm able to um, always have that corner to tuck my paper in. So everything has been heat embossed and now I'm ready to do my ink blending. I've taken out my mouse pad. Um, I like using the mouse pad because I don't have to take out my big craft sheet and you can totally wipe down the mouse pad. I'm using three different kinds of distress ink. I'm starting off with faded jeans, and then I go to chipped sapphire, and then I add broken china at the end. There's there was just a tiny bit of embossing powder because I forgot to use my embossing buddy, and so there's a little bit of embossing powder um, right there, but it's not going to matter because I'm going to be using some paint to add some snow to the to the card. I just took some Create a Paint shade from Close to My Heart, and this one is in Pearl. And I just mixed it with a little bit of water so that I'm able to flick it onto my cardstock. And I wanted to test out the direction of how much paint was coming off before I um, added it to my card. And so now I'm just adding some spots of paint. And I'm going to set that aside to dry. And what I realized after a few minutes was that this bottom corner, uh, the embossing powder, didn't um, heat set. And so I ended up brushing it off when I did my ink blending. And so I'm just taking my, my Versa marker and I'm just adding some more embossing powder. I'm not sure why it's sticking to the top of the tree, but it's only on the tree. So I'm going to go ahead and just heat set everything.
Now I wanted to add my sentiment, but white was just a little bit too stark of the cardstock, so I am going to make my own. I'm just taking a scrap piece, and you could see that there was a stain on the back, and I squirted a little bit of this pearl create a paint. Um, it's just kind of like an off white, so it's not so stark. And I did squirt a little bit too much, but it's okay. Um, I added a little bit of water so that I could smooth out the brush strokes. So when I stamp on it, I'll, I'll get a better image. I'm using the stamp set from Concord and Ninth called Christmas Cottage. And I, I've taken one of the sentiments and I've mounted it onto my Misty. I didn't trim off my strip because the paper was a little bit warped and uh, it was just easier to mount the whole or use the whole piece of paper or cardstock in the Misty and then I'm going to um, trim it down. I'm just going to use my color box cleaner to get that stays on off my Misty and it works really great. I'm just wiping off the residue and I'll show you that there's not anything left on my stamp from that stays on. Now I'm going to use my paper trimmer to trim down that strip and I just thought it was a little bit easier doing it this way than trying to deal with the small strip. And so I'm just going to go ahead and trim it down and then I'm going to create an angle um, on my strip. Now this moon is left over from another project and I'll be sure to add a link in the description um, on how I made that moon. It's in another video so instead of having to repeat the steps from that and making this video longer I'll just have you um, check out that video. I'm just going to add a little bit of foam just to add some dimension. I'm going to take everything and I'm going to mount it onto a top folding card. And then I'm just going to adhere my final pieces. Thanks so much for stopping by and watching this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I hope that you had a great holiday. I hope you had a great Christmas and that um, you'll have a happy new year. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.